friends, today we are going to be making a beautiful paper mache uh, chocolate covered strawberry. This lesson was inspired by the amazing artist Wayne Tebow, who makes a lot of his artwork um, inspired by different desserts and um, traditional American foods. For this project, your paper mache chocolate covered strawberry. You need plastic eggs, that's going to be the shape of the strawberry. Some masking tape, make sure that it's the tape that feels like paper on the top, not scotch tape um, or duct tape because um, the paper mache pulp does not stick to those tapes. It has to have a little bit of a paper grain on it, okay? And then your pulp, and then in the end, after it's dry, of course, your colors, temper paint. If you are in elementary school, you can use acrylic if you are middle school or high school. And then um, this is just a little pipe cleaner, some construction paper, and then your doily to stage it, and then a nice little plate. Okay, let's get started. Step one for your chocolate covered strawberry. Um, if you are making more than one, go ahead and get all of your little eggs and make sure that you get plenty of tape. If you are sharing with other people at your table, maybe tear, um, I would say four to five strips, pieces of tape, okay? Pass it down to someone else and then start covering your egg with the masking tape. Now some kids, some people there are very like shy and they won't press on the tape and then it will look all loose. No, no, you want to press on the tape to make the tape be as nice and flush against the plastic of the egg. Okay, do you see that? No more loose tape, right? Okay, moving forward, another piece. Okay, this one is going to overlap, so I could cut this off right here and maybe use this extra piece of tape to cover up another spot over here, okay? You only need basically one layer of tape on your egg. It's so that the pulp will stick to the egg, okay? You don't need layers and layers of tape, okay? so. I'm almost done with this one. You keep going. Please make sure that you are pressing hard on that tape, okay? No loose tape. Okay, stay tuned for part two, the pulp. The paper mache pulp we are going to be using for this project is cellu clay. Um, and I think it says Activa, I don't know. There's many different kinds, guys. Just make sure that you get something that is um, powdery. So what you do is you add, and I'm running low, so I'm gonna mix more. I'm going to make some here. I give it to my students already pre-mixed, but if you're doing this at home, I'm just kind of guiding you, okay? And then I have warm water. I like to use warm water so that when I start working with it, my hands are not so cold. Um, if the, um, the pulp has been sitting out a while, it's gonna get cold anyway because of the air conditioning, and that's fine. It still works, but I prefer the, I prefer the uh, warm water when I'm mixing it. Now I'm going to be working on a piece of foil or maybe wax paper or plastic um, because I'm going to leave my little egg on top of there to dry. And if you, um, if you leave your egg to dry on paper, this paper is going to stick to that paper. It's gonna be a big old mess. You can't peel it off, right? But you can definitely peel it off foil. Okay, so this is a hot mess. It's just like a bunch of cauliflower or oatmeal sitting on there. What do we do? We are going to gently pat the paper mache pulp and make it smooth with your fingers. I like to use like two fingers. Uh, don't use your whole hand because then you and all of the pulp will end up coming off back on your hand. So two fingers and I would start with maybe just the top half of your egg. 
okay? Then we let it dry, do another egg. And then the next class or the next time you come back, once it's dry, then you can hold it from the dry part and then do the other half. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to cover the top half of the egg right now. Okay, now we are ready to paint our chocolate covered strawberry. Here I have three that are ready to go. If you were able to cover your whole strawberry in one class period, that's great. If not, then take your time. Okay, so I have here some red temper paint, a brush. I'm going to paint this back part of it. And you don't have to paint the whole strawberry since the tip of it, this bottom half is gonna be covered in chocolate or our pretend chocolate. Now, when you are painting on paper mache, some kids will do this. They paint very lightly and then they leave lots of white showing. You want to dip your brush in the paint and kind of push the paint into the paper mache. Okay. So I'm finishing this part and I'm going to put this one down and I'm going to let it dry. All right, so I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna do the others. And in a minute, when it's dry, you may have to wait till the, whole, till the next class period to um, let these dry before you can do the chocolate part of it because you want to have a dry area to hold on to while you're painting the other half. For the chocolate part, so let's pretend my strawberry's already dried, okay? It's the next time. I put some um, just regular temper paint on the little cup and now I'm going to hold we're gonna pretend this is dry Ooh, wish me luck and then we are going to dip our strawberry in the paint like if it was real chocolate Ooh. and we put it down to dry i highly suggest you put this down on a piece of foil or a piece of plastic so that when you peel it off it doesn't stick to the plate another way that you can make the chocolate part on your strawberry now there's white chocolate and then there is um, milk chocolate or dark rich chocolate which is also brown chocolate so i'm just going to show you the white chocolate so the white chocolate i'm just going to do with a regular paint i could dip it the way that i did with the brown chocolate or you can also paint it on there. Just make sure that the red is dry so that your chocolate doesn't turn pink. Now, some people do make pink chocolate. It's also very pretty. So you just wanna twirl, twirl your little strawberry and make sure that you get plenty of white paint on it. And then you're gonna put your strawberry down. If you have any pores, little bumps, you want to um, paint that too. Now, some of you might say, well, the paper mache was already white. Why are you painting it white? It's not as white as paint. Do you see that? So you do definitely want to paint on it uh, if you want it white. And then make sure that when you put it down to dry, you are going to put it on a piece of foil or plastic. Now we are ready for the final touches. The strawberries have their red areas and then their chocolate covered areas. I have put just regular temper paint in a small Ziploc bag and you want to squeeze the air out, but do seal it so that it doesn't fall out just in case. All right, then you want to squeeze it all the way to the tip and then twirl it to make sure that it stays on there. And then with the scissors, very carefully, you are going to cut just a little snippet on the top. And then you are going to drizzle just a line on your strawberry, just like that. 
let it dry and then you can do maybe other little decorations whatever you have available you can also do this with white paint since i have some pink here i'm going to do the pink over this And then later on, I can do some um, little white dots, etc. Once it's dry, the final touches is with a Sharpie, you are going to add the little uh, seeds, just like tiny ovals, or uh, paint. If you rather use paint, you can do that too. And then if you want to add the little garnish here, which is like the little leaf, and then a little piece of green pipe cleaner for the stem, go for it. That will make it more realistic. And then the final steps is to uh, glue. I used hot glue for uh, the doily to glue that to the paper plate or plastic plate, whatever you have available. And then you're going to put your beautiful strawberry or strawberries on your plate. All right. Thanks for watching.